some guacamole. <laughs> I probably should have pureed the other vegetables and then mashed the guacamole manually, but. <clears throat> <laughs> Look at this crime scene right here. <laughs> <laughs> this day can go one of two ways, which is one, I can take a nap and guarantee that the rest of the day is gonna be terrible, or I can do what I'm gonna do right now, which is go take a run and hope that my blood gets flowing and I start to feel good enough to actually do anything. Okay, out of the two options, I definitely think I picked the right choice. We'll see if it lasts, but man, I feel much, much better. Yeah, the mic wasn't on earlier, but this is something we've been wanting to do for a long time, which is control one computer with two sets of keyboards and mouse mice. And we are literally simul editing. We've been wanting to do this for so long. <laughs> this is awesome, dude. So okay, I think it's good. You go. Well, perhaps a box. I'll get a live action shot here. So, say that. Back onto the mountain path. Or say whatever this is. This is this. So using two sets of mice at once worked pretty well, but it was actually just better when we just have two sets hooked up and then we kind of like switch back and forth rather than trying to do everything at the same time because the computer got kind of confused on what was going on. But it's actually, I'm surprised we didn't do that before because me and Andrew will simul edit all the time where we'll be sitting next to each other and then one of us will be actually doing the controls and the other one will be able to give advice or you can bounce ideas off of each other. But lots of times, one of us will be like, okay, I've got an idea to do this. And then so we switch seats and then we continue. But with two sets of mice and two sets of keyboards, we can both just start taking control just as is. That's awesome. It's like perfect. I really don't know why we've never done that before. That's really weird. <laughs> a bunch of plants I have because I, I enjoy plants. Actually, I, I kind of copy all of my friend Jason's hobbies. So like he got me into mushroom hunting and then- Oh really? Yeah. Oh. And then- I thought um, it was the opposite. Yeah, you would think so. And then his kitchen is like now filled with a jungle basically. <laughs> and it's like really awesome. So I wanted to grow some. But there's like succulents, which are these juicy looking ones. And actually I've got a pot here with like, cause sometimes these things will clone and grow new ones. And there's like cacti like this and the guy in here. And uh, these two are spider plants, which are actually clones themselves because sometimes they'll grow like little branches with another plant coming off of it. Oh, I think my mom used to have some of Yeah, yeah, that's really common. Some sort of fern here. This one I like because it's like really weird looking. And then this I put in a cup that's cracked. <laughs> 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 oh, and this one actually is the coolest one. This is a stone plant, which is, it's called that because it's like kind of like a rock. Yeah. Yeah, that looks super cool. Yeah. That was Andrew's plant meadow. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I am just really tired. I don't know what it is. Probably I haven't slept in my own bed in like a week. I've slept in my own bed like one time in the past two weeks. Man, yeah, I can't remember the last time I put my retainer in. I think it's been over a month. Let's see just how painful this is. Ah! Ah! Sorry, I thought I was blacking out there for a second. That's gonna do it for today's vlog. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna be working on the episode some more. I was gonna go home on Saturday, but I miss my bed so much. I cannot wait to sleep in my own room, in my own bed, in a dark room, with my own house, 
in my own kitchen and everything just the way I like it, that I have to go home tomorrow. So tomorrow night, I'm going home. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching today's vlog. See you tomorrow. I need to get home like right now because I'm so tired. I have no creative energy right now. Doing two episode edits in a row was a terrible idea. So we're gonna continue next week. I cannot wait to get home. I miss my bed, I miss my room, I miss having my own kitchen. I'm going right home. Uh, there's not much else left to say, except for I'm going home. So, uh, wish me luck. It's kind of snowing. Unboxings. I have no idea what any of these are. Actually, I know what one of them is. Let's start with this. Okay, so this is from my buddy Jim Booby and family. You guys know them. Made this for you and the AA crew. Thank you for all the effort you all put into sharing your adventures with us all. Between the A's on the X is a mountain peak landscape with trail on or stream. Your choice. Here's to the next trip. Okay, we gotta find out what this is. Oh, that is awesome. That is an axe, all right. So it's Adventure Archives. And then he said, this is either a trail or a stream. That is awesome. Wow. I'm back to JB, Jim Boogie. All right, man, thank you very much. Okay, so next up is from Farah Muhadi. Oh my God. Oh my God, that is so tight. Hey Robbie and Cindy, just want to say hi to your mom because she's incredible. <laughs> thank you. Here's a little gift I got you in a token of appreciation. Guess I'll see you on the vlogs, lol till then, Farah Muhadi. Farah Muhadi, man, you are too kind. Stormtrooper, oh my god, that is so cool. Thank you so much. This is from my buddy Tim V, the Texan camper. He told me what this is already because it turns out this knife was a mistake. He did not mean to send this to me. He meant to send it to himself. But when he ordered this, the he accidentally sent this to the same address. And he told me not to send it back to him, but Tim, if you still want this knife, I can send it to you. It's not a big deal. Although, are you allowed to send weapons in the mail? I don't know how that works. Okay, and he got me. Oh, that is awesome. Tim, man. Tim, you know me very well. I believe this is a replica of the Canon 24 to 105, which I don't have Canon cameras, but the concept is the same. It's a little coffee mug. You can drink a lens out of it. That is so cool. Thank you, guys. Uh, these are lovely. Oh man, you guys are, you guys are way too kind, man. So this is what my mother's been up to. Yes, still laying laminate floor. So I took up the carpet and there was some gross tile. The carpet's 20 years old, bad date. So it smells like tar in here. It yeah, smells I like asphalt. That, yeah, I think that that was the, what they used to put down the linoleum tile. This is just like scorched earth. <laughs> yeah. It'll be a lot better when I switch it to the laminate. Thank you for watching today's vlog. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> and this is like an old bag of uh, oyster mycelium. And like some of them actually started fruiting, but I never took care of it. I think there's like some mold growing in here. I bet I could actually like use this to inoculate something, some sort of dead log or something. Probably, it could probably be brought back to life. <laughs> <clears throat>